All right, Empire family, I'm JDZ Gaming Empire, and we are going to start a new adventure today. It's called Greedfall, and I've been wanting to really play through this for the longest. I played this game back in 2020, but only got like a couple of hours into it. And uh, this game released back in September of 2019, so... <laughs> A, a while ago and I wanted to play this because Greedfall 2 will be releasing uh, September the 24th of this year so if you're not familiar with Greedfall it's kind of like a mix between The Witcher and Dragon Age and let me read the description from Steam about it I'm loving the music hopefully it won't be copyrighted but um, Steam says, explore uncharted new lands as you set foot on a remote island, island, seeping with magic and filled with riches, lost secrets, and fantastic creatures. Forge this new world's destiny as you befriend or betray companions and entire factions. With diplomacy, deception, and force, become part of a living, evolving world. Influence its course and shape your story. And this game normally goes on sale for really, really cheap. I'm talking like seven US dollars. It's always on sale. So if you watch this content and you enjoy it, um, I highly recommend picking it up. I mean, I enjoyed the little bit of time I played with it, but of course, you know, something always comes along that draws my interest from the game I'm currently playing. This game is also uh, developed by Spiders and Spiders also released, um, what was that game they released? Uh, wasn't that long? I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but it's been a minute. Um, still, was it still rising? Let me see here. Uh, still rising. Yes. And that was kind of a, um, a souls like game. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So we're on the difficulty mode, discovery. This mode allows you to enjoy the adventure without having to develop your character's skills and equipment. Your character's resistance makes make them almost invincible and their increased damage makes it easier to defeat enemies quickly and experience the adventure without constraints. Well, that sounds just like you're looking around. You're not, it's not going to be really difficult at all. Easy. Companions are stronger and enemies are weaker and less aggressive in this mode. It's perfect for players who wish to experience the adventure without spending too much time on strategy or crafting. Normal. This mode provides a balanced challenge. You'll have to optimize your skills and equipment. Use crafting and plan your battles carefully to finish the game. Hard. Enemies are more numerous, more aggressive, and they inflict more damage. Achieving success in this mode requires you to have a good grasp of the repulse system and to upgrade your character strategically. And stream, extreme. The enemies are quicker, more numerous, and more lethal than ever. Select this mode if you are looking for the ultimate challenge. I am not looking for the ultimate challenge. I actually want to play this and enjoy it without having to worry about dying over and over and over again. I was contemplating easy, but I rarely play games on easy. So we'll go with normal and see how it goes. Let's continue. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There, now, hold the pose. Hey. Looks like the volume might be okay. We'll see here. Customize your character's appearance. Of course, we're gonna be a female. Uh, let's look at these presets that we have here. Hang on just a minute. I'm sorry. 
Okay. Uh, use the arrow key. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can't turn to the... Oh, we can turn to the side. Okay, there we go. We have some growth growing on the side of our face. All right, let's see what preset we want to work with. Okay, face. She looks like she's frowning. Looks like it's just changing the eyes, really, the eye shape. Let's go with that one. Here. Decisions, decisions. I think we'll go with, we'll just go with that one. Eyebrows. Let's go with those skin color. She's getting paler and paler. Hmm. Okay, hair color. I like my characters to have that white hair, but I don't want the eyebrows be white but this salt and pepper looks good Let's see what else they have I think we'll go with the salt and pepper even if it does change her eyebrows Oh, that, that'll work. And the eyebrows are still dark. Okay. Eye color. Look at me, please. Um, can we zoom in? No, we can't zoom in. What a hazel color. Well, that is a nice looking on that looks good on her uh, I guess we'll go with that that's looks as close as hazel as I'm gonna get okay that's done next step pick your starting skills according to your play style skill tree is open you will be able to unlock the skills of other arch types or archetypes as you progress warrior this profile focuses on melee combat, starting skills, one-handed heavy weapons, one-handed blades, firearms, recommended attributes, strength and endurance, recommended talents, craftsmanship, and vigor. Technical. This profile focuses on controlling the battlefield. Starting skills, set an elemental trap, firearms, one-handed blades, recommended attributes, accuracy, agility, recommended traits, science, and lockpicking. So is this like... um? A dex type build I think I like magic you guys you've been watching this channel long enough you know I like magic <laughs> this profile focuses on the use of offensive spells from a distance starting skills divine magic rings stasis 
one-handed heavy weapons, recommended attributes, mental power, willpower, recommended talents, science, and intuition. Now, I wonder if I need to take a picture of these recommended attributes or if it will show me later that those are the recommendations. I don't know, but I'm taking a picture just to be on the safe side. So we're going magic. We're going magic. Next. Okay, pick an attribute to invest your first point according to your preferred play style. So we have one point to spend. We get our next point at level four. Okay, so we have strength. Strength increases the power of all melee attacks. Attribute required to wield the best one-handed, two-handed blunt weapons. Stun plus 20%, armor damage plus 10%. Then we have agility, which is increases fury generation and all damage inflicted in melee combat. Attribute required to wield the best one-handed, two-handed with swords. Damage is physical damage is plus 10%, fury generation plus 1%. Then we have mental power. Increase the power of all spells. Attribute required to wear the best rings. Magic damage plus 10%, fury gen plus 1%. Willpower increases maximum MP and spell duration. Attribute required to wear the best amulets and necklaces. Magic points plus 100. Effect duration one second. Oh man, we only get to pick one of these right now? Okay. Um, uh, accuracy. Increases the power of all firearms and alchemical preparations. Attribute required to wield the best firearms. Damage plus 10%. Armor damage plus 10%. And then we have endurance. Increases, the ma increases maximum life and balance. Attribute required to wear the heaviest armors, which we don't need that. Life points plus 100, balance plus 20%. So, on our recommended attributes, it said mental power and willpower. So, these two. So, which one, which one do we want to focus on? Both of these sound pretty good. Um... I like the fact that we're going to increase our MP, I guess, like mana pool. Maybe that's what that means. And so maybe we could put a point in this one first and then go over to this one next. All right, we're going to go with willpower. Okay, we spent that point. Uh, next. Choose the talent in which to invest your starting point to progress in your own way as you complete quests and explore the world. Remaining points, okay. Oh, we don't get the next one of these until level five. Okay, for us, it was science and intuition. Okay, we got charisma here. Slightly reduces merchants' prices and slightly improves your companion's combat abilities. Slightly increases the chance of success of some dialogue choices. Oh boy. Vigor lets you pass through certain difficult passages that require balance, increases the maximum ammo capacity, and lets you slightly recover HP and magic outside combat. Craftsmanship allows you to craft basic weapons and armor upgrades. Intuition gathering sites become easier to see, slightly increases the number of ingredients and objects attained through gathering and looting. Unlock contextual dialogue options. Hmm. Lock picking. Let you pick simple locks. Enemy traps are easier to see. Oh man. I like lock picking. I, I want to get all the loots. Science allows you to make simple potions. Allows you to destroy weak walls with the help of explosive vials. So science. Intuition. Hmm. I mean, you could choose whatever you want, but this was our recommendation for this magic build. I think I'm going to go with simple potions. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're ready. Start the game. Do you want to create this character? Yes, I do. Thank you. 
Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lady, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We have nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry. I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lady! You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lady, please, I beg you! Her Highness has personally requested I finish this Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. <laughs> okay, as you guys can see, I am... The compass, visible at the top in the center of the screen, indicates important places and active quest objectives. Main quest is a bunch of triangles, and the side quest is circle. I am playing on mouse and keyboard to um, see how it's going to work out. I heard playing with controller is pretty good too, but let's see how this is with the uh, mouse and keyboard. Hello, fine people. Uh, do oh I can speak madam I'm sorry I'm afraid that I won't make for good company okay no problem so do we have a okay a map okay we need to go over here we're on the second floor uh, journal a cure for Malachor the great departure go and say goodbye to your mother Okay. Madame de, S de Sarde. Okay, there's going to be a lot, a lot of lore in this, I could tell. I don't know if I'll be reading all of it, but let's at least start with some of it. Madame de Sarde, brought up at the court of the Prince de Orsay and with his son, Constantine, you have benefited from the best tutors and masters of arms skilled in combat as in games of the mind. You have also shown early aptitudes for light magic. Your cousin has been more calm and thoughtful than ever. You have always tried to protect him from the annoyances he has the power to attract, which has earned you the respect of your uncle and probably the appointment as legate, in other words, a senior diplomat, on the island of Tier Frade. It is with a heavy heart that you will have to leave behind your mother, suffering from the malachor and close to death. But the opportunity that is offered to you away from the deadly atmosphere serene to accompany your cousin and to discover new shores is not one that can be refused. Okay, we can't go down any further. Okay, so mom is suffering from this debilitating disease or whatever is going on. It looks like we have something going on the side of our face as well. Mr. De Corsion. You have known Mr. De Corsi Leon for years. This is very, this very cultivated man has taught you and your cousin Constantine history, the workings of politics and the subtleties of diplomacy. You do not know if your uncle has sent him to you in the hope that he will keep an eye on you or if you, or if he wanted to come himself driven by the affection he has for you and his ever lingering curiosity. After all, you've been hearing for years about this fascinating island and the mysteries it contains, which he hopes to shed some light on. Okay, interesting. What's this? Serene on the continent of Gakane. Um, and I know I'm not saying these words right. This developer is a French developer, so I do not speak French. Serene is the biggest city of the merchant congregation and one of the most important ports on the continent. 
It is a very old city that sea trade has long made rich, but it is also the ultimate diplomatic city thanks to the neutrality of the congregation. You can find everything you can imagine here. People from all over the world come together, and its markets are full of the most exotic goods. For over a century, serene splendor radiated, attracting the best artists and philosophers of the time, despite the appearance of the Malachor. But since a little over 20 years, the, the deterioration of the congregation's relations with the knots and an aggravated epidemic have drastically reduced its prestige and population. Today, Serene is a city that barely survives by clinging desperately to its past splendor. Oh, man, yeah, there's some serious epidemic going on. Um, okay, let's see. I want to make sure the sound is good. Yep, that's all the way up. That's all the way up. That's all the way up. And I have the music a little. Let's turn it down just a little bit more. So I cannot really. I can make one more adjustment to the sound if it's not. Um, if you guys aren't able to hear it as well. You know, decide on that after I record this episode. All right, let's resume. And I have the graphics on ultra so everything is at the best it can be All right we are level one let's go on downstairs and see what's happening i don't remember a lot about this game who are you guys oh cutscene hey green blood cut and so the day has finally come my royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Oh, are we going to fight? by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! Attack three times. Ooh, that's spinning kind of fast. Okay, left mouse button for main attack. Defend yourself against three attacks. Okay. Oh, he just healed himself. That's two or three. All right. Right mouse button to defend. Prove to Kurt that you can fight. Oh man, there's uh too much going on here. Whoa! Oh, I got hit. You've lost health. To sign a potion to a shortcut, use tab space to open the tactical pause. Now I changed some of this stuff. Uh, some of the uh, controls. The tactical pause will pause the game and allow you to choose your next action. At your leisure, you will be able to access your spells, skills, and potions to use directly or assign to a shortcut. Using it during combat, you can also learn more about your enemies around you. I mean, there was a whole bunch of stuff that popped up there that I did not get to see. What the devil? Uh, oh, we got three health potions. Um, fine to... Okay. You can assign your skills to one of the shortcuts available using the associated key. Hmm. What do we want to put our health in? I don't want to put it in something that's easy to reach. So maybe... Let's put it on... Let's put it on... Five. Oh, golly. Oh, he killed me. What a green. Me who thought myself a competent weapons master. 
It's becoming a little hard to believe. Don't add insult to injury. This is humiliating enough. We'll need to get you through the basics, or you risk getting your feathers plucked <laughs> for the first sign of trouble. That could definitely come in handy. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training partner. Go! Fight with honor! I guess he said, um, you suck, so you need some additional training. <laughs> you can use shadow and light magic to your, during your adventure. The stasis spell allows you to temporarily freeze an enemy. Spells use magic. Okay, shown by the blue meter at the top left. Okay, that's this. All right. Yeah, I mean, there was so much happening. I couldn't, there was so much up there. I couldn't read it all. And Q, I guess that's the stasis. Shadow missile, shadow impact. Enlightened protection. I changed the dodge to something else. I don't know why it's showing left shift. I'm gonna have to look at that. Um, but we'll look at that later, I guess. Set up a shortcut for this. Oh, they want me to set it up. Okay. Uh, set up a shortcut for the stasis spell let's find it to well we can use Q that's fine oh okay I guess I guess not I should still be able to use Q though um, stasis. Let's do, all right, we'll do one stasis. Use the shortcut you have assigned. You're still alive? Nice. Of oh, I'm out of, um, I'm out of mana. I see you guys to take it easy on me. the stasis spell twice okay I thought I did um, cast it twice not enough mana oh okay there we go I was using the wrong thing okay Not enough magic energy. All right, this is going to take some getting used to. Oh, yeah. Hold on now. Hold on. Physical armor level is shown with shields on the health bar. Armor absorbs part of the physical damage. To break an enemy's armor, you can use an impact weapon or certain traps. Magic attacks ignore armor. Okay, wait a minute now. Defeat your enemies by ignoring their armor using shadow missile. I want to see something here. Why are these controls? Secondary attack. Okay, that's mouse five. Dodge and sprint. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I put dodge on my mouse button. 
but it's still showing as uh, left shift, I think. All right. Zoom. Ouch, you son of a... Hey, I had my guard up. Okay. Oh, no, hold on. No. Jeez. Fury is a state that allows you to use special attacks that inflict bonus damage and make enemies lose their balance. A second minute meter that fills up as you attack an enemy, cast a spell, or parry attacks from enemies will allow you to use your fury level. Oh, maybe that's what the Q is. Okay, Q is a fury attack. When the meter reaches the first level, a visual effect will appear on your character's hands. Press Q to use a fury attack. All right, I'm trying to keep all this straight now. Okay. You can sheathe your weapon. Oh, I missed that. It appears we've brushed up on the basics. It does. And I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Yeah. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. Oh. Show him how happy you are that he's coming. Complain about being shadowed by a bodyguard. Okay. On the contrary, I am thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Don't tell me the old school teacher is competing against me. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for a celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Okay. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. All right. Uh, let me see if I can turn down the rotation speed of this. Yeah, let's turn this down just a tad. This is pretty fast. Fast for me, anyways. Save. All right, now let's see. The dodge is not working. Hmm. Just testing out. But it is definitely not working. Okay, let me see about changing that back to what I had. Oh, the original default. Dodge Sprint. Yes. Okay, maybe I just can't do it in here? Because it's not working. All right, let's go see Mom. We'll figure that out later. Oh, she's in here. Ooh, what's this shiny over here? Oh, just the concoctions. All right, let's go see Mom. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, no, Mom. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now. Let's speak of more pleasant things. 
I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort to know my daughter has left on a mission to heal her people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here, take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Yeah, mom has... Now, be off. Same kind of markings under her left eye that we have on our... Our chin and jawline. She's gonna die before we get back. Hey, I got a hat on. Oh, can we look at her gear? You can run faster using sprint or go more slowly by walking. Oh, I changed it, but it's still showing mouse four. Let's see here. There is something not right about that. Okay, it's still acting like I have it on mouse four. Thought I changed it. Okay, well, whatever game. We'll just keep it like that, because that's how I wanted it. Okay, secondary attack. I don't know what that is, but I have that set up. All right. That, that's very odd. Very odd. But uh, let's go on over here. And walk is Z. Well, oh, that's kind of awkward to go use W and... Z, maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Uh, let's look around here before we go see who's that, Kurt? Um, how do we see our... Oh, that's Crouch. How do we see our skills and our inventory? Okay, inventory. Uh, we have a bag. Contains your consumables and other items. Oh, we got our potions back. We had two, or we had three. I used one. Okay. And to make this, we need to find Hawthorne and Beast Essence. Okay. I don't know what that is. Mother's present. This present was given to you by your mother when you bid her farewell. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Princess Day Sar Day. The Princess de Sarde is the sister of the Prince de Orsay and your mother. She has always shown you a lot of tenderness, which is not common among the congregation nobility. She unfortunately came down with the Malachor some time ago, has been living in isolation since then, her suffering and appearance preventing her from maintaining her role at court. Although she may be very sorry to see you leave Serene and by far from and be far from her. She prefers her only child to visit more welcoming shores and seek a cure for her people rather than stay by her side waiting for her death. Okay, so we're actually on a mission to find a cure. Okay, Kurt. You've known Kurt for many years. When he became yours and Constantine's weapons master, his childhood was tough and he had a weapon in his hand as soon as he was old enough to hold one. Although he has obviously suffered from it, he does not seem bitter. 
just a little cynical, and he shows you and your cousin an almost brotherly, protective affection. Okay. Oh, level one. All right. Oh, so we have relationship levels. Okay. And oh gosh, oh my. Okay, those are the same things we just looked at when we started our character. Okay, we have a ring, a novice's ring, which increases our magical damage. Okay. We have a worn spiked hammer. Really? I mean, I guess we could use it, though. I'm trying to focus on magic, but when I run out of mana or whatever they're calling it in this i guess i could use it um let's go go back don't have a firearm okay used felt hat okay all right so just basic equipment oh my word look at oh my gosh look at all the question marks Oh, this is going to take a minute. Okay. Oh, wow. And this is the world? So we're right in here. Oh, wow. Scrolling out. Oh, are we going to get to see all of this? We're in just serene, but I see a... Okay, this whole city is new serene. Hikmet and Sam Matthias. Okay. All right. Let's go speak with Kurt. Meet Kurt in front of the palace. Kurt. It's done. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You were right. Maybe he is already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier located? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Okay. Oh, team setup. Companion on the team. Zero one, but we could add Kurt to the team. Kurt is a melee combat master and can wear heavy armors. All melee weapons. Balance potion, special move according to the equipped weapon. Is he suspicious of me? But he's my fighting master. Or dance partner. All right, add him to the team. From the team and quit. Okay, you obtain a secondary quest. You can follow the details of your quest. By reading your Where would you like oh to Oh my begin? gosh. I've been Ouch. asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it is certainly worthy of inspection. Okay, they don't give enough give you enough time to read anything. Let's see. Anything else, Kurt? Greenblood. Do you need something? Oh, um, I don't think we ought to be asking him this yet. Let's leave that for later. Can we romance I must in this? Leave you. No, you're not leaving him. Follow. Oh, is that what that's? Oh, or zero. Let's look here. Side quests. Coin guard merchandise. Negotiate with the vendor. That is over here. There's a quest over here. That's the main story. 
Oh, we're definitely not ready to leave yet. Look at all these things we have to do. Notify the Telemi ambassador about your departure. Okay, that's a part of the main story. I want to see about putting marker. Yes, we can go clear out all of this. It doesn't look like we can get down here without going over here. So I guess we're going west. Um, it's going this way. All right, anything to see around here? That's not really a dodge. Dodge is left or right. Uh, we came from there. All right. Nothing to see. Yeah. Brocade quarter. Okay. Oh! Shiny! Oh, wow. Gold coins, health potion, alchemical preparation of elemental damage. Hoof fungus. Okay, I press Q to take everything. Items are stored in the inventory, okay? And I should have more potions. Yep, five more potions now. Yeah, dodge. Why is this... Like this? That's... God. Oh, okay. Um, I'll have to figure this, these controls out. They're just a little wonky. Trying to understand. They do. Hello. Oh, people are laying out on the streets. got before. I hear people crying out. Should we save? Do a quick save. Why are you standing there like that? You look suspicious. Oh! I don't have a potion, you fool. Okay, that went a little better. Yeah, they looked awfully suspicious there. Can you give me a potion for uh, mana? <laughs> That's what I need, a potion for mana. I saw shiny over here. Oh, yeah, right here. Gold coins. Oh, I see a chest. Oh. Oh, we got some gloves and a rusty mace. That's a one-handed heavy weapon. Oh, let's take a look. Take a look. we compare oh 
Oh yeah, this is definitely better. Put that. Okay. And then... Got some better gloves here. Okay, I guess you had to just compare like this. And what does that slot mean? Okay, we're going to put these on. Advanced view? What is that? Okay. Let's put these. And then... What is this? What does this do? An item already equipped. Okay. Hmm. Um... Um, okay. Okay. This does not say what that little circle means. Okay, we can access our companions. Uh, inventory by using the right or left arrow keys. Okay, that wasn't a whole lot of help. Sort differently. Okay, we can change the sort. Probably change it from here. Yep. Yep, okay. But I want to know what that means. What does that mean? Okay, I guess maybe it'll we'll figure it out later. Something else new here. Oh, uh, hoof fungus. Common mushroom usually collected under leaves or dead le trees. Ingredient used in science to manufacture ammunition. Found in most of the island regions. Well, I won't be using that. Leather can be taken from the body of a creature. Ingredient used in crafting. Okay. What else is new here? No. Not that. Oh, in here, my bag. Okay, the alchemical stasis mix. Set alchemical stasis mix that explodes on contact with an enemy. Applying stasis on enemies in the explosion radius. So we have one of those. Hmm. A chemical preparation, which we can't craft. We have two of these, but we can't craft until we get science level two. Sets an alchemical preparation of elemental damage, which explodes when an enemy comes close. Dealing elemental damage to all enemies within its range. Ooh. And ammo. So, can we set these to our shortcut bars? Uh, what else? It says there's something else here, but I don't see anything else. Oh, okay. Uh, what's in here? Major health potion. Ooh, 1,000. I want to see, can we set those? Okay, I don't see where we can set set those others. Those alchemical technique on the uh, on our quick access. Okay, let's continue. Lost a little health, but not not a lot. Where are we at on the map? Okay, we went around there, so let's continue. Let's go back the way we came. Then head south. So I have to actually hold in the button to run. It's not a trigger. Stuck. I 
I will be checking as many boxes as I can for loots. Dang, there is a lot of death around here. Oh, I see shiny. Food, iron ore, and hawthorn. Direct access to the map of the region. On your local map, you'll find important places and characters. Oh my gosh. Goodness, I already know to hit M to open a map, but wow, that's so fast. Major magic potion. Potion that quickly regenerates a great amount of magic damage. Yes. We need that. Let's put that on. And let's um sign it to let's put that on. Hero. Yeah, let's take a look at the map. Okay, so we can get to this from two different ways. So let's continue. Let's go ahead and go down this way. Okay, some more suspicious looking peoples from the looks of it. Are you suspicious? You look suspicious, lady or gentleman. I'm gonna save real quick. Yep. Drink a potion. I don't need to drink a potion. Oh, they left. Where are they? They left. They'll be back. So we're going to have to deal with two people. Oh, okay. We're not going to use the rifle. Go ahead and take everything. Anything back here? No. All right, let's go deal with them other two jackasses. Where did they go? Right here. To my help. And death to the others. You're running out of energy. Drink a potion. Sorry, Kurt. Yeah, energy consumption. Oof. I hope there's a way that we can build that back up. Getting more potions, so that's good. Uh, we're gonna have to put this on something. Let's take all that. Find this to. That's the greater one. Let's put the one here. Okay. And I won't find this yet. If I have to, I'll just pause and drink it from here. All right, let's see, where are we at now? I go, I don't wanna go south, I wanna go west. See what we didn't see from over here.
Okay, we came from there. Torn out diary page. The pains are getting stronger and stronger. My guts are churning. It is getting harder and harder for me to run the shop. Some evenings I can't even feel my legs anymore. It's as though they've turned to ice. There's no longer any doubt. The Malachor has got me like so many others. Today I had so little strength that I couldn't even cross the road to get to my shop. Who needs books when everybody is dying anyway? All that's left for me to do is drag myself to the little dispensary they installed behind the barracks and hope they can ease my suffering. Greetings, Your Excellency. Okay, I'm sorry I had the mic muted. <laughs> And I was saying, it looks like the guys in the black coats and jackets, the guys and girls in the long black coats and jackets are the bad people. Okay, you reached your destination. And we figured out how to put a marker down. Oh, there's something over here. Fine resin and hawthorn. Oh my gosh, there's sick people everywhere. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. All right, I think, yeah, we're back where we were before, so let's go back this way. A ma marker. I don't want to see these guys yet, so we're going to put a marker, like, right here. That's uh, a door, so we shouldn't need to, um, we can, should be able to go buy it without, uh, sparking the, uh, quest. Princess Palace. Resurrection powder. Powder that revives fallen companions and heals them. Nice. Okay, which way do we want to go now? Um, that's the vendor. Let's go to the west since there seems to be a lot happening over this way. Move that. I see that chest over here, but let's see if there's anything up here. Oh! sign telling you to where you're going all right this is one of the ambassadors i don't want to go in there yet
don't know if we can swim. This is on the other side there. Uh, let's make our way back, Kurt. Yeah, make our oh, lots of doors here. Fontaine family warehouses. Coin guard barracks. There's a vendor over here, a merchant, tavern, crafting table. You're in my way, Kurt. like somebody's selling something. So this was to the Fontaine family. Oh, man. Ugh. Oh, let me move away. You, I don't want you coughing on me. Point guard barracks. Okay, the merchant's over here. So there are warehouses. can go ahead and make our way on over here. What is that quest? Negotiate with the vendor, okay? Uh, we'll look at all that later. I wonder if there's any... Hang on. I wonder if we have any special loot in our Fontaine building here. If we even get in it. this oh we can jump this okay cool all right so anytime we see like some white markings on walls or structures we can climb them where is this leading to is there some whoa where am i at oh, okay i'm in one of the warehouses Is there any loot down here? No. It's blocked. Okay, that was waste. Houses. Yeah, I feel bad for these people. Here. Let's just take us to Villain's Den. Villain's Den? What's a Villain's Den? Oh, that's that snake oil salesman I hear over on the other side. Okay. There's some loot over here. Uh oh. Yeah, it's Constantine. I have a ship to catch! Do you hear that? Yes. That's Constantine's voice. 
It's coming from the upper floor. Sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. Sneak around, they said. Let's do a journal. Free Constantine. Um, and where's he at? Oh, oh my. Um, that's not what I was expecting. Oh, he's up in here. Okay. It's in the villain's den. Oh, and they said, he said something about sneak around. Maybe down there, there's a ladder. Okay, let's look here first before we venture down that way. Enemy detection. When the player is in stealth mode near enemies, a detection indicator will appear above their heads. If your presence is detected, the indicator will fill up until you are perceived as dangerous, which will trigger combat. The indicator has two states, suspicious in yellow and detected in red. Okay. You can adopt a stealthy stance and be more discreet. I just want to see. Posters we posted, someone with deep pockets will show up sooner or later to liberate Booster. He's making a great deal of noise. We could knock him out or gag him. Okay, I'm about Constantine. Let's go back down to this ladder. where we need to go oh destroy level one science and alchemical preparation of elemental damage don't I have that oh I do nice Something. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, Serene Criminal's Key is that. That's the diary that we just read. There's somebody moving around. Is that, is that Kurt moving around? Where is that key? Um, I don't see it there. Some more gloves. They're the same. Pistol, which we're not going to use. That's worse. It said we picked up a key. Maybe it's in our bag. Feather. Serene criminal's key. This key opens a chest. 
in the criminal's warehouse in Serene. They must hide their loot there. Okay, we gotta be on the lookout for a chest. And Kurt, what do you got on? I never did look at your weapons. Okay, now his, these are filled in for him. Hmm. Um, I guess we'll figure that out another time. All right, come on, Kurt. Let's unbar this door. So we would not have been able to get in that way because that was the first door we came to. There's another ladder over here. Let's crouch. Um, wait, I thought I just unbarred that door. Yeah, what is the game talking about? We need to find the upstairs. We came from down there. Or from up there. Was I didn't see any other... Oh, right here. It's like, where's the ladder? Crouchy crouch. have a key. Nice. Fury potion. Cool. Haze potion. Potion that increases your stealthiness for long duration. Visibility 60%. Effect duration 60 seconds. see anything back that way. Come on, Kurt. Move. Thank you. Really? You can't you can't fit through there. Give me a break. Yes, this way. Is that where Constantine is? Looks like it. Let's hope. Let's go in here. Oh no. Those are baddies. Um, is he really over there? Oh, he is over there. Okay, he's over here. He's on the... We're on the upper floor. Is he on the lower floor? That's to the outside, so we don't want to go that way. Who's that walking around? Maybe that's the people outside? Alright, let's go up. to Constantine's cell. All right, that's good. Good, good, good. Just gotta find him. Maybe he's in one of these doors? Over here. Ok, 
Okay, Constantine is over there. Over here. that on. Elemental resistance. Let's equip it. Let's crouch, please. Now let's go free, free our cousin. Good thing we have the key, because we don't have lock picking. Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An oh. island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to impress! Hey, calm down! Constantine, it's me! My fair cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fight. I do what I can. We are departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today we set sail for adventure. Not yet. Companion equipment. Select Constantine from the inventory screen with left and right. Equip Constantine with his outfit, old embroidered doublet. Oh no, so we can't. <laughs> we if can't you wear it. Knew how these river scum treated me. Do me a courtesy, fair cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave. Let's give them their money's worth. They haven't spotted us. We could sneak out of here silently. We have a ship to board. You've always been the reasonable soul. Don't you think these brutes deserve a punishment? Yes, without a doubt. But don't you think there are more pressing matters? Kurt. It is your highness's decision to make. Whatever it is, I shall follow. Okay, so that's done. Let's look at the journal. So we freed him, gave him those clothes I wanted to wear. Let's look at the journal entry on him. Constantine d'Orsay, son of the mighty Prince d'Orsay and his second wife, Constantine is your cousin. You know him from your earliest childhood and have always been very close. Despised by his father, who always seems to regret the death of his first son and used by his mother, you are probably the only true friend and confidant he has. Although very intelligent, his whimsical temperament often made him look like an inconsistent boy. Until the day his father finally decided to put him to the test by naming him Governor of the young colony of the congregation on Tier Frade. Okay, so his daddy doesn't like him. Stinks. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Uh, what do we need to work on next? We need to negotiate with the vendor. But let's get out of here. We see everything that we're to see here. Uh, we went over here. I think this is where we found the key. Yep, that's where we found the key to free him. I think 
Okay, we're free to move about without sneaking. Um, where's Kurt and Constantine? Where's Kurt and Constantine? Oh, there they are. Okay, they just popped in. There's Kurt anyways. Okay. That was back to where those guys were. This direction. Do we really need to go that direction? No, I don't think so. We can go back around. There's a storeroom here. Other stuff over here. And we have not visited the merchant yet. So let's go back this way. Uh, wasn't there? A yeah, there's something down here. Some loots. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, it's like a sick ward. Now we can't climb, let's go see. It's blocked. Gotta come from it. Get to it from the other way. Abandoned letter. I hope you will give You'll be given this letter when you finally return from outside, provided there is somebody still alive here to give it to you. I can barely see anymore and it's difficult to write. I'm sorry, my child. I can't leave you much. The looters are sure to have wrecked our beautiful bookstore by now, but they might not have found the chest I hid in our house. Take care of yourself, my son, and if the money, ena if the money enables you to, Lead to this magic island, which is said to be completely free of evil, your loving father. Hmm. Where does this go to? Oh, where is this? Where am I at? Hmm. Wingard Barracks. Who's this dude? Can we talk to you? Lady Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Not yet. You know this type of mission is not really my speciality. Well, that's to your honor. But the commander did give the order to you. Her Excellency might be able to help you. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. What? What is that about? Hmm. Okay. Where are we at on the map? Okay, just did a save for us. Yes. Let's just go out here real quick. Where are we? Okay, we're right here where I wanted to go because the vendor is right here. Are you the vendor? Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? When did he see us before? I don't recall seeing him before. Uh, what do you, what do you sell? Whoa! I'm not buying anything, of course. 140 coin. We have 152. We're at 50. Oh, there's a weight limit here. Oh, boy. 
melee weapon, firearms, armor, consumables, ingredients, quest item, bottle of brandy, sleeping potion, metal dowels. We don't have a quest for these items. I guess maybe it's we will later. Thank, Thank you. you for your visit. See you soon. Okay, but I never saw you the first time. Good people. Come celebrate the miracle of science. Won't believe your eyes. This okay. discovery will give you faith in existence. This dude is selling stuff. He's a snake oil salesman. Come I bet. On, these poor people are looking for, you, you know, an antidote. Something to help. I believe I've seen you at the palace. But you're one of the prince's relatives. Could save your life. Let's talk with this jackass. Because I don't believe it. Oh, we Come can't. Closer now, we can't talk to him. Don't be afraid. Why Come can we not talk to you? Celebrate the miracle of science. You won't believe your eyes. I can't talk this to you. This discovery will give you faith in existence. Nope. Okay. Well, that answered that. Come on, come on. Uh, we can climb the hat. You won't regret this miraculous opportunity. Your time is precious in these dark hours. But what you are about to discover could save your we get back here? Gotta be careful. There's all kinds of ways. Uh, that looks like a baddie. That looks like a baddie. That is a baddie. Look how he's looking. His face is covered. You're running out of energy. Drink a potion. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. You're running out of energy. Big blacksmith's gloves. Okay, we might be able to give that to one of our companions. heavy weapon that's better than what we currently have. Let's finish looting. Then we'll take a look at all the goodies. Come closer now, good people. Don't be afraid. Come celebrate the Alchemical Research Book. These pages are covered in small, almost illegible handwriting. Experiment results, patient observations, and incomprehensible symbols. But the complexity of some recipes leaves no room for doubt. The author was a true alchemist and was certainly very knowledgeable. Miracle hmm. of science. You won't believe your eyes. This discovery will give you. Okay, let's look at the existence. Look at the inventory here. Um uh, our armor goes down, but our elemental resistance and craftsmanship go up. Quality, the quality is better. It's on me. Uh, Kurt. Now what you have on is a lot better. All right, what about? Oh, I can't. Where's? Oh, I was gonna say where's Constantine? Oh, he's got some good stuff on. Okay. Yeah, now this is gonna work on him. Uh. 
Then this weapon. And this does 132 and it generates fury 5% fury I think I'm going to keep on mace alright let's see about hurt looks like you already have a pretty good weapon Oh, and so do you. These guys have good stuff. Hey, I have some comfortable boots on right now. Put these on, I'll get some elemental resistance. My armor will go down. And so will my balance will stay the same. on Is that all the goodies that we collected uh, yeah there's just some stuff in our bags probably crafting let's look at this map uh, why, I want to know why I can't talk to this, this snake oil person selling this so called elixir But what you're about to discover could save your life. Why can I not talk to you? Come closer now, good people. Don't be afraid. Oh, come. Hello, Your Excellency. It is an honor. Of science. Okay. You believe your well, eyes. can't talk to him right this now. For whatever reason. Will give you faith in existence. Um. Oh, let's go check this out. Crafting table over here. And we can get to it from one this way. Come on, come on. Seasons of Serene. The merchant is there. To my help! And death to the others! All right, that was good. Oh, level two. Got a rape here. Okay, we can't use that. we need to go see is that way but what is this way oh who this dude what's going on here who are you is this who we need to talk oh that's who we need to talk to let's let's wait to talk to him Ship allows you to upgrade your weapons and armor. Science allows you to create potions and traps. You need knowledge to be able to use the crafting table. To obtain it, spread points in the desired talents. A certain piece of equipment or companions that can give you a bonus. Each talent point will unlock new recipes. You will also need ingredients which you can buy or find while exploring.
Okay. So what can we craft here? Oh, you can craft weapons? Science level two. All this science level two? I guess we're gonna be bumping science level two. What about... A potion. Oh, okay, we have... We only need to be level one for this. Level three for that, wow. We have two Hawthorne, we need to be on the lookout or maybe, no, it takes two Hawthorn and one Beast Essence. So we need to be on the lookout for Beast Essence. Okay. Ooh. I don't really think we need to craft any of this right now. We have three magic potions and eight health potions, but it is here. What is this? Laced drink. Okay. Okay, I have no idea. What is new in here that's saying that we haven't looked at? Didn't see anything new. So is okay. You can come here and compare. This is where we upgrade. What's this look like? Oh, this is where we the slots in, I guess. Oh, what does this do? Right now, this slot is empty. Smooth steel handle. Ooh. Okay. That increases damage. This increases stun. Physical damage. Okay, okay. Ooh, I like the fact you can generate more fury. Takes one leather and one crude iron. Ah, uh, upgrade. Okay. What about here? Ooh, that's a lot of physical damage, but it will take four of our iron ore. Actually, both of those will. Need craft level two. Do we want to put something on our axe? Maybe something that does more physical damage? Yes, it will use all our iron ore. Sure, there's more to be had. I wonder if you can craft iron, fruit iron ore. Okay, so that's how we do that. All right, all right. Let's see. You craft. These are all potions, it looks like. Hmm. I guess we just find the iron ore. Okay, that's cool. Now, let's, um... Whoops. Upgrade. Uh, where is it at? Uh, which button is upgrading? This one. Skills. We have one point. Oh my. Storm. 
Shadow Burst. Okay, what is this? Divine Magic Ring. Stasis. Which we are able to do. One-handed heavy weapons. I'm not interested in that. Blades of firearms. Setting traps. Uh, that's for melee. So I'm thinking one of these two paths. Ooh, magic healing. Instantly heals the caster. That's taken this route. What's, what's this? Shadow Missile costs less magic energy. Lightning Dash. Storm. That takes three points. Ooh. What's this? Shield of the Enlightened takes two points. Increases physical armor and regenerates it progressively for the duration of the effect. Hmm. Thinking we probably need to go. Ooh, but look at this. This does more damage. I like the thought of getting healing. Stasis lasts longer. Uh, let's go ahead and get that. Do we have any attributes? I don't think we get these until level four. Yeah. And then the next talent is level five. Yep. Okay. All right. Where to next? We did that. We need to notify the Talami ambassador about your departure. We need to talk to the coin guard. Negotiate with the vendor. So we can go back and do that. Let's do a save. And go negotiate with the vendor, which he is. Over here. No, who is this? Hmm. If we go over here, can we get back around to him? I want to see who this dude is. Old warehouses. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Port Quarter. And he's over here. Oh, is that the ship captain? Looks oh. Lively there, lads and lasses! Vasco. I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Oh, oh, uh oh. Though some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's niece. All is in order. We will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. <laughs> Apologies. Constantine Dorsey, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, Your Highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready to leave? Not quite. I still have a few errands to run for my uncle. And what about you? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that Jonas was never one to fancy drink. 
and it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Okay, um, about the cabin boy. When did you see him the last time? When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Um, acquaintances in Serene? Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. Who are his close friends? Miss Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Lauro. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Okay. Tell me about the knots. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you become a nought? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the Norts master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a Nort from birth. Others are sea gifted, joining the Norts for different reasons, often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Dear Frade, could you tell me anything about our destination, the island of Tiafredi? It is a magnificent place. Wild. Spared from your wars and your mines for now. The natives have a relationship with their land and consider it sacred. They were very friendly people, welcoming. That will appear to you strangely familiar. I've also heard that there are a great many exotic creatures, some enormous. But I wouldn't know what else to tell you. I've never strayed far from the ports. The Port of Serene? What do you think of our port? Are you referring to this one? It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us Nords. Certain zones are owned completely by us, and maritime law holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. Okay, let's see. Anything else? Oh, that's it? Okay. Be back soon, Captain. I want to see if he was going to tell me any more about the uh, miss missing cabin boy. Madam, are you ready to leave? No. Not quite. I still have a few errands to run for my uncle. And what about you? I'm still without news of my cabin boy. But we will have to do without. Uh, let's see here. Okay, nope. That's it. Be All back right. soon, Captain. So he wants us to find his cabin boy. Disappearance among the knots. Investigate the disappearance of the knot nov novice. And let's see, do we have a Oh, we don't have any information on this captain of the ship. Okay. Alright, where is this at? We are over here. Oh, it's pretty close by. So we can actually go back up there, speak with the vendor maybe? Then come over here to find his... his uh, cabin boy? Since we've had this little longer. Oh, what is it? Oh, that's where we need to go speak to the different factions. All right, let's go take care of this. Uh, of course, we're going to look around first. Do some looting.
be nice if I can find some better armor. Excuse me, excuse me, cousin. Get out the way, cuz. Uh, that's... That's the way to... Yeah, that's the way to his... To investigate his cabin. Way. Uh, did I loot everything over here? Yes. Alright, let's go see about this vendor. Maybe try to help resolve whatever the situation is. Has got any loot back here? What is this? Oh, zones controlled by other factions. This zone is under the control of another faction than yours. Certain places are forbidden for you. A costume of the faction will allow you to trick the guards. You could also try a stealth approach, but if a guard spots you, it will result in a violent response and damage your reputation with this faction. Oh, well, let's not go back there yet because we have neither. We don't have a um, an outfit to kind of blend in. You have discovered the not warehouses. Anything up this way? Okay, we came down. Came down this way. Oh, who are you? You're new. Who are you? Is that uncle? Yeah, it is. Your Highness, I'm happy to see you. Your absence this morning worried both your father and me. Come now, Sir de Corsillon. My father may have been angry, outraged, or disappointed, but he's never worried about me. I am sad to have caused you any worry, though. Would you believe that I was rotting away in a sinister jail, guarded by thugs ready to kill me? Though still seeing double from last night's drink, I was preparing an ingenious escape plan when... Ta-da! My fair cousin jumped up out of nowhere and saved me. I'm quite the fairy tale damsel in distress. You might have refrained <laughs> from the company of bandits the night before such an important departure. Take away the risk and halve the pleasure, de Cossillon. It is the salt of life. Hmm. I fear that some of my teachings have been misunderstood. But you wanted to ask me something, de Sade? Hmm. Ask about his future role on the island. What will be your official title on Tear D? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now, don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor. Nothing more. But His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all events, uh, chart the island and its resources, but also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island. Your help will be extremely valuable to me. I've no longer the legs of an adventurer. <laughs> it's always a privilege to help, Master. Hey, that's all we can ask him. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. Okay. I already spoke to you, so... Miss so. I mean, an armor upgrade. That sure would be nice. Well, beast essence. We definitely need that. Let's go to the vendor. Have this looks familiar. 
thank you. Oh, we can climb the hat. Uh, do I see some loot down here? Up here. Oh, we've been through here. Then we kill these baddies. Yeah, because we jumped that that fence. Okay, let's go speak with this vendor. Good day, my lady. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. What? I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. Um... Hmm... Ask for more instructions, or ask about the other merchants. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? Oh. Well, we can't, we don't have an intuition to offer a bribe. Oh, is this random? Threaten a prison sentence. 50% chance. <laughs> this is random. Let's see how this goes. I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sade, niece of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and theft. You know as well as I that the congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung, and that you finish your days in prison. I... Oh, oh success! As you request, my lady. I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now yeah. that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting us. Okay, so we already spoke with the quartermaster. And I guess that is going to do it for uh, this episode. I, I think I'm getting a little better at the combat. And I'm, I'm curious to see, you know, where this goes. Because I can't remember. It was over four years ago when I first attempted to play this. So thank you guys for coming along this journey. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.